Coronavirus cases aren't the only thing that we are watching. The CDC says it's seeing a steady increase in flu activity, with many of the infections in kids and young adults. In Virginia, the spread is minimal. Angela Vargas spoke to a Newport News pediatrician who says she's also seeing an increase in both flu and COVID cases at her clinic. None of us like to see the numbers go up. We're, we're all kind of worried. We're going in the wrong direction. Dr. Elizabeth Broderick has been tracking flu and COVID-19 cases at the Children's Clinic in Newport News. I had a case of flu in August, which was a personal first for me. Today, VDH officials announced they have started to see sporadic reports of influenza in recent weeks. As we're moving into the colder months, normally our cases will tick up. Dr. Broderick says another concern is COVID-19. Although she says the COVID-19 vaccines for children are helping, she worries about the uptick she's seen at the clinic. Normally we'll have three or four COVID cases a week. Last week we had 11. Broderick wants to remind families to practice all health and safety measures for both viruses. And the tough thing with flu and COVID, with influenza, you're contagious the day before you feel sick. With COVID, you can be contagious two days before you feel sick. Dr. Broderick says some of her staff have been working more hours to see more children. She tells me the extra work is worth it to help stop the spread of the flu and COVID-19. Angelo Vargas, 13 News Now. We haven't hit peak flu season yet. In the midst of a pandemic, it's important to note the differences between the flu, COVID-19, and even seasonal allergies. Let's break down the symptoms. Some of the most common coronavirus symptoms include fever, cough, and shortness of breath or difficulty breathing. These typically appear 2 to 14 days after exposure. With the flu, you could also feel a fever and a cough, as well as muscle aches, fatigue, chills, sweats, congestion, and a sore throat. When it comes to allergies, you'll have sneezing, an itchy nose, eyes, or roof of the mouth, a runny, stuffy nose, or watery eyes. There you have it. Of course, if you aren't sure what you're sick with, always go to the doctor or get a COVID test just to be safe.